Um, so anybody who's handling balloons, uh, make sure to get a pair of gloves if you actually handle the balloon. Um, right, if you're sensitive to uh, um, the oils and things in your hand, we have a variety of pairs of um, kind of like gardening gloves, or gloves, here we go. Someone wants to give them a hand. Thanks. I'm not sure how long. Did you find anything in there, Ken? Did you find anything? Uh, yeah, that's still true. Uh, more gloves, more gloves. the ground tarp that they'll lay the balloon out on to protect it. We are in a, inside, actually inside a hangar to keep, uh, keep from having problems with the wind uh, that you have with an open field launch. Okay. Um, it's a luxury because we block most of the wind, but you get an occasional block. 
So, like I said, uh, we may not get to 100,000 feet today just because of um, the situation with the uh, um, with our track. We want to be. We don't want to land in a river. Um, so we're going to go for a slightly lighter balloon, but it should be fine. So just make sure to give this thing enough that 20 pounds of pull aren't going to pull it off. I would always suggest doing one continuous piece because it makes it much easier to remove when you're frantically trying to attach a payload to it. Um, one little fold over. You always want to tab at the end, or else so you'll you come back yeah, off easy. You'll be picking on yeah. that for a while. That's, yeah, yeah, that's good. Just temporarily to hold it to the nozzle. All right. Now, um, so you guys with the um, cloth gloves. Yep. Um, all you're doing is just kind of monitoring so it doesn't, uh, you know, little breeze comes in. Sways. Josh, you want to? Um, so uh, I gotta admit that I keep putting on my list of things to do. Switch over to our new regulator. This one has it. It doesn't close all the way. But that's fine because we're just dumping the whole tank in there anyway, right? All right. Um, all right so what we're going to want to do is uh, just turn it on. What size tank is that? It's a K, K yes. tank. K tank. <laughs> and then it's kind of a counterintuitive when you screw it in, it opens up. And it's good if you. What do you need? You're gonna you're gonna be holding on to this thing. Um, point do you attach the paracord like just when it gets upright the balloon gets upright is What's that this? when you attach the paracord to the yeah regular? it's just something because it's like it's gonna have a little bit of lift so it doesn't get away from you just to anchor it down okay just so he doesn't have to hold that okay pretty quick fill <laughs> There's the uh, Josh in the middle there has leather gloves on and uh, a lot of times you got to be careful, like with the paracord and stuff that uh, for the person actually holding that part of the balloon, they can get pretty abrasive on the hand and you end up with rope burns and stuff like that. So that's why he's got leather gloves on and Jay and Kathy on the left and right have cotton gloves on.
start cutting up the frame. putting together the frame. This is the, their current design for the platform. Instead of a train design where they hang everything uh, in a linear fashion down from the balloon, they've got this square frame that they have things mounted on, on. And you can notice like in the um, a couple of the corners, towards a couple of corners, they have uh, GoPro cases. You can put GoPro cameras in to uh, track uh, a launch of a, a rocket that they're going to try and do. It's kind of a raccoon design uh, that they're going to try uh, on this flight. So, and then the uh, IIT students over there, they have a payload that's going to also be attached to this frame that's going to uh, be launched altitude. And I think it has like a uh, photo sensor and a temperature sensor and a camera and um, I believe one uh, maybe an altimeter or pressure sensor. But, so that'll be mounted too. Round yeah, one. They're getting close to being finished with that. Ken, do you want to bring the... How, how soon before this tank's almost full? Or we're going to put it all in there. Yeah, and then uh, how much do we think we're in need of the other one before we start measuring? Um, I would just look it up and not. Uh, we'll get a wait once it gets all this. Okay. We're going to start getting the ballpark and then we can get this. Yep. Well, okay, so we should right. stop at this point, is what I'm hearing. We'll hook it up, but we won't, we won't yep. do any more fill. And then we'll hang it on one of those. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I wish. Do <laughs> what? Josh is asking if we can fly one of those. I've actually flown in a Stearman before. It, oh, it is yeah? it is very cool. Yeah, with the open cockpit. Nice. I've not done open cockpit before. I've done um, sailplanes. Oh yeah. Uh, that, I have I not done like that. Two or three hours of instruction before I had to move out of the area, but there. If you've never done sailplanes, they're awesome. I've heard it is, yeah. It is the most pure form of flight I've ever experienced. Yeah. It's quiet. Yeah. Uh, Until you land, it. right? And then it's really rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's, um, yeah, it's a little bumpier because usually it's on a grass field or something. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a nice way to fly. I bet, yeah. I miss it. I, I wouldn't mind getting the opportunity to do that more. Whoa, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Gen low, by the way. Gen low. Uh, this is why, for example, at this point. Oh, by the way, you have the best job at a hot summer day. Because you can. Yeah, exactly. Um, at He's this got point, experience. You, know you might want to do. pull it down here. And I, I'm trying to check on something. See this blue line? <clears throat> um, from if you take fish scale. And go pull it down so this blue line hits the ground. Yeah, we know how much the rest of it. Yeah, weighs. this this part of the rigging weighs, and I got it. This is what I'm trying to jump check. I do believe it's 500 down. grams. Okay. Um, and so we take that, subtract it from what we're actually getting. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Get our gross lift. Uh, so this is where. Do we want to turn that one? It's yeah. Now. Yeah. And make sure. Uh, well, make sure first to always shut this. Okay. Then shut, shut this, because what's going to happen is you can build a pressure in that little part. Uh, if you undo it, it shoots out like a gun. Uh, I would not like to be no. sitting at the me. business yeah. end of, <laughs> of, of the pop. I would rather we not have that. Whoa! Oh my gosh. What was that? The wind. We just had a little gust, oh, and it okay. was surprising. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> okay. I, I was worried about it bonking him. I, yeah. I know it's not so, going to leave us. Yeah. So this is why I would put your wrist around that. I mean, it doesn't have that much pull, but still. Yeah, like something like that. You want yeah. it to attach there. to here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, let's attach now, the empty one. Yeah, I would uh, detach that one. We can throw it back in the van. Um, oh, no, we're going to, I think we'll use it as our weight. Then hook up the, we're going to need more. So okay. hook up the other one, get it ready. Don't open this valve, because like I said, this has a leak. In yeah, it. absolutely. Um, keep it shut. And then, so it's ready to continue, but uh, then you can hook it on the, you can hook your um, tether up to that. You gotcha. might want to. 
Yeah, let's get the let's get the plumbing moved first, though. <laughs> You guys getting tired having your arms above your head yet? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I start switching back and forth. <laughs> Yeah, taking video is not a bad job. I just get to stand here and watch. Uh, I think I planned it. Yeah. Yeah. So there. I got a fence you can whitewash. Great. You're missing out if you don't if you don't help. I touched one of the uh, the tanks. So, yeah. That's my contribution. All right, so let's walk it over there. And the one key is, is just try not to touch with your head or anything. Yeah. 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 And then get the arm just worn around. You can there. put it on this guy. That's what or I was thinking originally. This is just dead it's weight. Dead weight. Yeah. So, yep. Okay. All right. Now we still have to manage it because the wind might come down. That's okay. But he gets it right here. Cool beans. You don't have to actually hold it. Just stand around and make sure it just doesn't. All right. Jumper wires. Uh, if you can use. Side, uh, okay. You, you, you hear what I'm saying, right? Yes, I okay. understand. Okay. All right. So, um, the idea is. What is green? Green sponsor, right? Who <laughs> get two green shots? Anyway, so the idea is somehow whatever this is doing locally, we have to just do it remotely. It's going to because it's going to connect these to the. What is this? That's the nichrome wire. Uh, we're not using a nichrome wire. Not we're using the igniters as the nichrome wire. Okay. Correct? So, in fact, I want to double it up. So, here we go. We've got engines. Okay. We've got engines. Very complicated task. Someone needs to color this black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Permanent what we're going to do is we're going to throw two of them in there because our <laughs> vacuum ignition test showed that it seemed to burn a little yeah. less so. So two of these are jamming inside one of these, which is jamming inside of this, which is jamming inside of that. Okay. Was it? We need maybe. And so, if you guys, like for example, um, let's do this safely though. This is just a test engine. Let's get this out. Um, so, um, go to it. Uh, we need delicate hands. Yeah, we're going to do. We do have black wire. Thanks, John. <laughs> wow. yeah. What I want you to do, you see these little holes here? So, so basically, what's going to happen here is that these wires are going to be strung up and through so they come out. Okay. Okay. 